Well, here we are, back in the Enron once again. In the Brack Enron. Working on the Ethron. I know it doesn't rhyme. The, um... I always start here, because, you know, gets people interested. For about mm, 30 seconds, or until I open my mouth. So, uh, yeah, um, work, obviously, is always ongoing. Um, i had done a lot more than I thought I had. Uh, I checked the video before I, uh, last, uh, two weeks ago. Um, and I was actually just, I may have just been laying out the first floor of this section. So I'm about to do the... I've got the third floor of this section laid out now. So two floors below me that I've done. Plus the, um... These things. Which may be a shield generator? Potentially? That may be something they actually very much need with what they're about to do. Or what they have begun. Um, yeah, so that's all done and uh, modified the um, original, which was back when it was supposed to be part of the engine, part of the uh, drive system. Um, actually, it just suddenly occurred to me, suddenly hit me, that these actually might be the mechanism by which they get here. Because they obviously would need to portal in. Um, I don't know what the existing law is, but this is obviously meant to be a different dimension. I don't think I've ever heard anybody suggest you can fly here from the surface of, uh, of the overworld. But, um... Anyway, yeah, so that's another possibility. It may actually be that mechanism. Um, and I've actually realised I've put nothing in place for that. Um, you know, we've got an engine uh, for propulsion and uh, lots of other systems in place for water, water recycling and, and uh, refining materials and so on. But, um, yeah. <laughs> totally neglected the fact that they would need some means to get here. I'd been thinking about it from the beginning, but it totally went out of my head. Um, but yeah, you, you can see um, this is obviously well on its way and I'm about to get started. I think I need to do a little bit more marking. Um, I think this may be... Where's this going to penetrate? is here, so it's going to be outside of it by the time we reach this ring, if not sooner. Yeah, it's going to leave the, the those. Oops, just realized I forgot them. So... Yeah, I'm thinking, because there's, I put in the, um, I've seen this, shown this already, actually brought over the map, or part of the map anyway. The, um, yeah, there's a library here, but I think I'm, I think I may do another, another one, a larger one, in the, I'm going to be talking, well, there would be the last one, the tower's going to go above the surface here, and maybe the opportunity to put in the secondary library maybe incorporate these bits into it, because there's not enough space. Um, but that's all future work. Um, I really didn't do much else besides put these in place and do the, uh, do the engineering section. A little bit of a headache. I finally settled on a new visual, which is a bit heavily mark, uh, masked now. The redstone is still in place, but I've added the warped wood. Um, that's intentionally not covered. Uh, it's not too bad, but as I say, I have covered most of it. So it's lost a little bit of uh, 
it's in pack, I suppose I could open it out by getting rid of this, I don't think this has to be here. Um, should we brave it? Should we take a, should we take a look? Could have left it there. Oh, that doesn't help. Yeah, it may be better off with them. a little bit more open so you can actually see what's here. Oh, blast. Missed something. It's supposed to be deep slate stairs. Various angles filling in these little gaps. I'm getting like I'm getting the angle. So that I'm not recording the video for YouTube. Oh yeah, I knew it was I'm thinking straight. It's the third one I was in which I can't do what I just did because you can't play stairs at those angles. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'll do the rest of this one I'm not working on in the video. Not that I have much more to say. It's going well, you know, um, going quite quickly, I, I mentioned before. There is some things that need to be worked out. There's some spaces that are a little bit more awkward to fill. Um, I corrected these over here. So there's now a central stairwell. Um, and I'm in the process of so I knock out each stairwell as I go up. Although, um, yeah, not much to do here because it's already gone. Um, it ends here, obviously, and there's no other way up. I have to be a little bit more creative about how this connects. It's not bad though. Obviously need to build the other half. Should be one of the first things I get to when I'm actually at the top. Well, I'll, I'll do... I'll do this whole thing. And then work downwards. Um, and this obviously has to go in as well. All this decoration, all of the mini cloister. Um, and uh, yeah, right. I'm not sure if I was talking about this on the stream. The fact that the bell's up here and thinking about turning it into a nether bell. And it struck, but it doesn't move, which is why it's you know, useful because it's in such a tight spot, but it's t it vibrates in a way that nobody can hear except the thing that they came here to face, and it's not very happy about hearing this noise, so it comes for which is obviously what they wanted. So, uh, I'll probably work around that concept. I think that looks nice, I like that. out my video this week by building. Probably have to edit some of it out, it's already been 10 minutes. It's not bad. Looks a little like a bee. It's a bee bell. Nice. 
Hmm. Yeah, but I've obviously only got two choices. I either can't be wrong, you know, so. Or I come up with something very creative as to why it uh, doesn't need to move. Although, obviously. Yeah. I kind of would have really liked to be able to do four of these beacons in every direction. But, um. It's been there so long, it seems a bit weird to get rid of it. Not that it has any real meaning or significance. Um, but, uh, I should probably cut this off now. <laughs> I may clip some stuff out. But I shall say it do.